now let us solve an interesting problem a steel rod 18 mm in diameter passes strength centrally through a steel tube of 25 mm internal diameter and 30 mm external diameter the tube is 750 mm long and is closed by rigid washers of negligible thickness which are fastened by nuts threaded on the rod the nuts are tightened until the compressive load on the tube is 20 kN calculate the stresses in the tube and the rod this is first part the second part find the increase in these stresses when one nut is tightened by one quarter of a turn relative to the other there are four threads per 10 mm take Young's modulus for steel equal to 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. That means the tube and rod both are steel and both are having Young's modulus 2 into 10 to the power 5 Newton per mm square. Let us solve this problem. The rod here is threaded so it behaves as the bolt and it is surrounded by a tube and the nut tightens the tube so the rod because of the tightening of the nut will experience a tensile stress or the stress induced is tensile here it is compressive so the force acting on the rod is tensile and the force here on the tube is compressive. These are the given data. So the rod diameter is 18 mm. So the area is 254.5. The outer diameter of the tube is 30 mm. The inner diameter is 25 mm. So the area is calculated as 216 mm square. The length of the uh, rod and the tube is given as 750 mm, so both are equal. And this question is having two parts. First part, when 20 kN is subjected on the rod, sorry, uh, tube, so a compressive load of 20 kN is applied here and the equal amount of tensile force is acting on the rod. So the forces are equal in order to keep the body in equilibrium. So that is the first condition. What is asked is the stresses, the rod stress in tube when the force is 20 kN. The second part is quite interesting when the nut is further tightened one fourth of a turn what is going to happen? What is the stress induced in rod and the tube? That is second part. Let us first discuss the first part where the forces are equal whenever it is subjected to the force the tube will be uh, subjected to compressive and the rod will be subjected to tensile so uh, compressive load in tube is equal to tensile load in rod okay so we can call this pt pr so it could be written as p area tube 
to 16 area to 54.5 therefore sigma t is 1.17 of sigma r we have this relation let us have this relation and uh, in order to find out the stresses in rod stresses in tube because of this 20 load it is uh, 20 kilo newton it is very straightforward p t sorry sigma t p t by a t so p t 20 new 20 so 2.6 newton per mm square similarly 254.5 the stress so these are the answers for the first part the second part when uh, actually it is given when the nut turns four times it moves 10 mm so four turns equal to 10 mm is what is given in the question so four turns equal to 10 mm therefore one turn 10 by 4 mm actually the nut the stress induced in rod and tube because of one fourth of a turn that is was what is asked so axial displacement or axial advancement of the nut one fourth of one turn so 10 by 4 so totally I mean uh, it is divided 10 by 16 is 0.625 mm okay now so when it is rotating one fourth of one turn it is going to move 0.625 mm what will happen during that time there will be displacement in uh, the rod sorry net uh, tube sorry tube and at the same time there will be extension in the rod so extension in the rod uh, contraction in the tube is equal to 0.625 that it is happening because of the net net uh, displacement or net rotation so here it is going to contract here it is uh, the rod is going to extend so both together is this much okay so the uh, length length in rod plus decrease in length in tube is equal to the axial advancement advancement of the net so delta l rod plus delta l tube equal to 0.625 this okay fine so this could be written as sigma 
R by Young's modulus into L R plus sigma T divided by Young's modulus L T equal to 0 0.625. So this is also equal, we can make this out, sigma r plus sigma t 1.17, sigma r 0.625. So sigma r 0.625 into 2 into 10 to the power 5, L is 750 into 2.17 sigma r and 8. Therefore, sigma t is 1.17 into 76.8 mm. sigma t equal to 1.17 into 76.8 equal to 9.86 closer to 90. So these are the values. This is happening because of the turn of the nut. Is this okay? Fine. Thank you.